it is very easy for us to say that in America with inside the church because it's just kind of what we, we sing as we did for the last 30 minutes. But the idea of having a king kind of pushes against our American pride or our fleshly pride. Because would you agree that in the root of us as sinners, we're like, I want to be king. And I'm going to put people, things, positions over me that I feel comfortable with, and I can submit to a king that way. And maybe it's like a political party. Or maybe it's a boss that you can just get along with. Or maybe it's just something in your life, like a spouse, that you're like, I can control him or her. I don't know how that happens, because that doesn't happen in my family. But the reality is, the idea of having a king is foreign to us, because we don't live in the Middle Ages. We don't live in England. We live here with presidents and political parties and other things like that. So I want us to understand from the very beginning, as we're going to be talking about part of the Lord's Prayer, Disciples' Prayer, is simply this, that our prayer as Christ followers need to be for the King to come and his kingdom to come. This kingdom is not of this world. This kingdom is not of our time. This kingdom is beyond any comprehension